Hi, Grade 11s. Welcome to this video. Today, I'll be doing with you the roller follower. So we are still continuing with the cam. And as you can see, you are given a displacement graph. What you need to do is you are required to draw what you are given, and then you are also required to draw the cam profile using the displacement graph. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to copy what I am given. So in order to do that, you need to understand that in order with the wedge follower, the pointy part of the follower would align with the bottom of the displacement graph. But with the roller follower, the bottom the bottom of the displacement graph aligns with the center of the roller. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to project the bottom of the displacement graph to where my center line is and then there, that is where my, the center of my roller is going to be. So I can draw a little center line and just make sure that they are aligned. And then once I've drawn that, I can now, you can use your compass or your stencil to just draw the roller of diameter 60. So I'm checking where my 16 is on this stencil. Then I'm just aligning it with my center lines. Take my pencil and draw a circle at diameter 16. Then from there, we have a height of 58 from the center. So I'm going to To copy it. Then it is ten millimeters, so five on each side. You can just outline. And then the distance between the center and the, what is it, the camshaft is 26. So center to center is 26. Let's double check. This is my 26. 20 because I'm using one as my zero, 25, 6. I'm using my 26, then I'm just gonna extend my center line. Then from there, we are told that the shaft is the diameter of two. One order of this one too. So make sure that all sides are in line with the center line so that I can have a circle. And then immediately I am patching it.
Once it is hatched, then I will show the direction of motion, just opening a decent distance from the center to draw an arrow between the two circles. And then I am done drawing what I am given. From there now, I need to start by dividing this circle into 12 equal parts so that I can start getting my points for the CAM profile. And as the cam profile rotates in a clockwise motion, the follower will be going in the opposite direction. So this is my zero degrees here. And then I'm going to be labeling in an anti-clockwise direction. So 0 and 360 are always together. Now I'm going to start projecting my points to the vertical center line, then to the respective point. So 0 degrees is already there. And then I'm going to move on to 30. and put it there in the middle, open that distance, then transfer it to 30, then just make a small dot, okay, let's try this again, so my is there. I take it back to 30. There is my center. Then I get my 16, which is there. I place it there where that circle is. I try. I have to draw a construction line. A circle that is in. C. So that is my 30. Then I move on to 60. Open all the way to 60. Then 90. So I'm using one compass. I'm just going to be doing one method at a time. Now I'm transferring my point and marking the center of the circle. 120.
50. One fifty is here, one eighty, Two hundred and ten. Forty. Two seventy. Three hundred. Three thirty. Three hundred was here. Three hundred is this one. It's two hours, one one. It's three hundred, which is this one here. And then three thirty is this one here. And then we'll say three sixty to right in the middle. So now that I have my, my points, I'm now going to stop drawing the circle. So using this radius, I'm just going to be going to each angle where I need a point to draw a circle. in construction.
So there are my circles. Now what I do, I ensure that I draw a curve that will be touching these circles only at one point. So I'm just going to start first by ensuring that I move away. And then I'm just trying to get a point at each circle. So now that I have gotten my shape, now I can see how my profile will look like. Then I can start outlining. So that is the camp profile. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to assist you. I will see you in the next video.